just because something is delicious does not mean it has to be bad for you. <laughs> Registered dietitian Kitty Fawaz is joining us in our kitchen today. We're making a scrumptious double cranberry relish and pumpkin scotch pie, two heart healthy dishes. Kitty, welcome to Mort Midday. Thank you, Holly. Glad to be here. Glad to have you here. All right, we're going to talk about everything we need to know, first of all, for our fabulous pumpkin pie. Right. What do we need for this? We're going to do dessert first. We're going to start off with a cup and three quarters of skim fat free milk. Okay, and before we start combining, let's just tell everything that we need. So okay. right here we have our pumpkin. We have a cup of canned pumpkin. Okay. We have two tablespoons of the Splenda brown sugar blend, so Splenda. it's lower in carb. Okay. We've got pumpkin pie spice, and we have sugar-free, fat-free butterscotch pudding mix. Oh, yummy. And then right here. This is a fat-reduced graham cracker crust. And this is something you can find at the local grocery stores as well. Okay. And if you want to top it off with some whipped topping, they've got several fat-free versions out there. So really it comes down to folks just taking the time to actually look at what you're buying and not just grabbing whatever looks Ex good or maybe most prominently displayed. Exa exactly. Right. Um, and it's just learning how to substitute in lots of cases. Right. Like in this recipe, for example, you could have used whole milk. You could have used full brown sugar. You could have used the pudding that wasn't sugar free and right. you have something higher in fat. Right. So just a few little tips here and there kind of substitutions will make this thing work out for and you. very easy. All right. Exactly. So, so now we know what we need. We got the milk. Now usually with pudding I think it calls for two cups on the package but we're cutting that back a little bit. We want to make this for a little this bit recipe. thicker. Mm -hmm. so okay. We'll make it for a pie to set up. So we've got our pudding mix and the skim milk. Okay. And to this then Gonna this, add your, we're going to get add, the other thing and just kind of scoop that yeah, in there. You don't mind. We're going right. to add one cup of canned pumpkin. Now spatula. you can buy this, but do buy the solid packed pumpkin. You do not want to get the pumpkin, make the mistake and get pick up the pumpkin pie filling because that is already oh. seasoned and it's going to be more your traditional pumpkin okay. pie. Okay. Yeah, I would probably make that mistake. So you're not so, looking no, for the get the solid pie packed filling. pumpkin. And okay, you just solid packed pumpkin. That. This is okay. getting all blended So see how in. that's really starting to thicken up? Okay. Exactly. Then we're going to add our two tablespoons of Splenda brown sugar blend. Okay. And if you Splenda were not using sugar. the Splenda and were using regular brown sugar mm -hmm. in this, you would use about a fourth of a cup. With the Splenda, you use half of what you normally because would it's use. Sweeter, with sweeter. Exactly. Right. Gotcha. Okay. And then we're going to add our flavoring, which is the okay. pumpkin pie spice. All right. And this is typically a blend of nutmeg and ginger and cinnamon. Maybe mm. a little cloves thrown Let in too, or allspice. This is, I'm doing all of it, right? Yeah. Man, that's smelling wonderful. Well, that's one of the things we try yeah. to do in Heart Healthy Cooking School at mm -hmm. St. Thomas, is we don't rely on a lot of things that give us extra calories and fat and cholesterol. We rely more on spices and herbs and seasonings. So here we are. We've got this mixed up okay. already. And then that's going to go right into our wonderful yes, graham crusting. Exactly. And you know what? This mm -hmm. recipe is so easy that the younger generation in the family can make this <laughs> and let this be their contribution to the Thanksgiving meal. I'm going to move this out of the way. There we go. There we go. And oh, we've got doesn't that look good? That, put that in the refrigerator. Let it set up. And then garnish it with your fat-free whipped topping. There you go. See, fat-free with our whipped cream as well. Exactly. And we're good to go. Okay. Exactly. Now we're going to move on over here. This right. is our wonderful relish, and it's our double cranberry relish. Right. Mm, okay. We're starting off with two cups of freshly ground cranberries. These okay. are fresh cranberries. We're going to add yeah. to that one cup of chopped apple, which we're leaving the peeling on. More color, more okay. fiber. And by the way, so then we also have over oh, here. So dried cranberries. Okay. Mandarin oranges. All right. And crushed pineapple. Now, is this about... What do we have? A cup? Half a cup? This is an eight ounce can of uh, crushed pineapple juice pack that we've drained well. You drain it. This is a ten and a half ounce can of the mandarin oranges. Okay. Now you could use fresh oranges if you wanted to and grind that up, give it more of an orange rind flavor, but this is such an easy way to make this thing work. Very simple. And obviously you will not need as many of the cranberries. Exactly. And these are just the dried cranberries that you find at the grocery store. Okay. So and we're start actually with using that. Oh. Splenda in this too. And you're going to think, well, is this a diabetic cooking school or is it a heart healthy cooking school? It <laughs> actually can be both. Well, but you're going to find that a lot of your diabetic patients also are more prone to having heart disease. So we so try, you try to look out for everybody. Right. We try to look out for everyone. Some recipes we aren't able to make as low in sugar as we would always like. But mm -hmm. the two I happen to bring today are some that can be modified in that way. They're and we ideal. actually featured these this past Tuesday at the St. Thomas Cooking School. And I brought some extra things with me so you can see what our complete I menu is I know, and like. we're going to show those off in a second. But folks need to understand, too, the great thing about your classes, they're free. Exactly. Free, open to the community. Anybody that wants to come may. And they're at the hospital, correct? They, they're at the hospital once a month, usually around the first Tuesday of the month. Uh, the next one coming up at St. Thomas will be um, December the 2nd. 
we're going to be doing That's a class amazing. theme called Holiday Gifting. So if you've oh, got great. friends at church, your hairdresser, your mailman, right. or someone that's you want to give something to for Christmas, but not just a memento, give them something that's uh, heart healthy all at the Practical same time. Practical because they can eat it, but it's exactly. going to be healthy too and yummy. See, exactly. that's the key word here too because yummy. so many folks, as I mentioned in the introduction, they often think it's healthy. Oh, it's not going to taste very good. But it never has to be that way. Right. And I would say if anybody wants to come to the Heart Healthy Cooking School, call the 1-800 number, 1-800-588-3274. And we're going to also have a link on our website okay. to give them more information about that and as well. And it's not that that's a requirement, right. but we do have a tasting of all the things we demonstrate. Really? So just to make sure we have enough food right. for everyone just to, to sample. Sure. Now, are these normally at night or are they during the day? They're in the afternoon, 3 p.m. Okay. We even have some folks that come pick their kids up from school and just rush right over to St. Thomas to join us. We have a lot of regular attendees that come. Yeah. And uh, we just have a good time. We try to, like I say, feature low fat, low cholesterol recipes, low salt as well. Rely a lot on garlic and onion and herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised I'm able to cook these up. two dishes today without a little garlic thrown <laughs> in somewhere. But <laughs> right. Hey, real quickly, we're going to show off some what we have over here. And this is our other. finished product, by right. the way, of our fabulous. Uh, pumpkin scotch pie and then look what she's doing right. Isn't this cute idea this Take is the menu we featured this past Tuesday we've got the oven roasted orange. turkey a uh -huh. wild rice pilaf our scotch pumpkin pie and our cranberry relish mm, ready to eat and just think it's good for you we yes. love to know yes. that all right for today's recipes again and for more information about st. Thomas heart including details on the heart healthy cooking school just log under our website go to WSMV.com and then click on the more at midday section all right we appreciate it thanks so much thank you for having you us. gotta stick around kitty we're gonna okay. do a taste test at the end of the show all right okay? thank you all right Tim has a final check of that forecast for you Clearing off is what's going on right now. We're going to get a little cool the next 24 hours, but it's Saturday and Sunday. Nobody will care. By, besides, the complaint part was closed on weekends. So it's closed on yeah. the weekends. Yeah. You're not going to take any I'm complaints for sure. <laughs> All right, pumpkin scotch pie and our fabulous double cranberry, cranberry relish. relish. <gasps> Yummy. And again, for the recipes, just go to our website, WSMV.com. And Kitty, you say, come on out and check out our free cooking classes. Exactly. And in fact, we've got one the, November the 20th that I failed to mention earlier. Oh at the Bellevue YMCA at 2 o'clock. That's going to be 2 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then one coming up in December there at the hospital. Exactly, on December 2nd. All right, three. We're ready to eat. Would that is like more at midday. Lick this. I've only licked it once. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>